What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, so yes, back for the very first time ever playing NHL Breakaway 98. So yes, we have moved on from the Sega Genesis era of sports games, and now we're into like the N64 era of sports games. And then we'll be moving on to the PlayStation 1 next week. This is actually the only sports game that I have on the N64. But yeah, playing this game for the first time should be fun. Um, so yeah, it's actually one of the few sports games I think I have that's not made by uh, EA. Most of the ones that I have are, you know, just EA ones, because I know for a fact that they all have, like, the mode where you can just watch the AIs duke it out. Some of the games I have in there are not EA, though. Because I know in recent years, EA, you know, Electronic Arts, they have not been, uh, EA Sports has not been, you know... Very good in recent years. But even still, you know, it's fun to see the evolution of video games, even if the newer ones have been a bit lackluster as of late. Putting it nicely. But uh, yeah, I, I remember like back in the day, people were like, oh yeah, EA Sports is fucking awesome. You know, because back in like the early 2000s, they made some really fucking good games. But yeah, they've been slacking in recent years. So, it's, you know, sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, some of the newer games still look very good. It's just the movement of the players is not very good, and there's a lot of glitches and shit. So, yeah. But either way. Yeah, this this game, I believe, was made by... I want to say it was Acclaim. It was a company called Acclaim that made this game. So, yeah. And again, and again you know, I like to do a little bit of variety. You know, something that wasn't an EA you know, NHL game. So I went with this one. Thought it'd be fun for you guys and all that good shit. So, yeah, NHL Breakaway 98 here on the N64. So, yeah, should be fun as always and all that good shit. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this party started here. So for the first game, we're going to have Philadelphia taking on Boston. So see how this shit goes. And as usual, again, I'm just going to be spectating. I'm not going to be playing as either one of these teams. So, yeah. Tonight's matchup hits the visiting Philadelphia Flyers against our hometown Boston Bruins. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, they're doing the National Anthem. Nice. Yeah, because this game was made back in 1998. You know, back when people still actually respected the National Anthem. Instead of, instead of being a little bunch of little cry baby bitch boys. You know, again, this game was made back when uh, people still respected the National fucking Anthem. Credit to Acclaim for putting this in here. Sounds awesome. Then again, it always does. National Anthem's badass. Nice. I love it. I can just, like, sense, you know, the soy boys on Twitter having a fucking meltdown right now. And I fucking love it. You know, people get so offended by everything these days. It's like, grow a fucking spine, you little fucking pussy. You know, like, really? People get literally offended by something as simple as the national fucking anthem. Like, seriously. What a joke humanity has become. I told my coworker this the other day. I'm like, what a stupid fucking world we live in nowadays. Like, I used to think that the world was stupid before, but like, holy shit. Like, it's more stupid now than it's ever been in my entire life. Like, I straight up told my coworker, I'm just like, I told her straight up, I'm like, what a stupid fucking world we live in. <laughs> like, really, what a stupid time to be alive, you know? 
It's interesting. They have that little bubble indicating what's a CPU. Ooh, good try there. It's weird. They have like that red ring around the puck. That was close. Holy shit. Yeah, they have that like little red ring and then like a trail behind the puck so you can kind of see where it's moving. That's interesting. Good try there. Ooh, he had a good opportunity, but couldn't quite make it happen. It's a good try, though. Good effort. Wow, launched that shit. Fucking nice. Yeah, I like that. I've noticed that, that, like, throughout this, they've been playing, like, music and shit in the background. I kind of like that. Since there's no commentary, you know. Since a lot of the earlier sports games don't have commentary. But a lot of them don't have, like, music playing in the background either. So I like that nice change of pace that they decided to go with. There's no commentary, but at least there's some music playing in the background. Luckily, I'm here to give you guys my commentary. So at least there's some kind of commentation. Commentation. Is that even a word? Or did I just invent that? <laughs> oh, this is funny shit. I don't even know if I'm speaking English right now, apparently. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> Yep, just launching that shit. Alright, so we have ourselves a face-off there as the puck is frozen. Still 0-0 zero to zero here. Closing in on the end of the first period. But yeah, I like what I'm seeing out of this game so far. Game plays pretty solid looking for an N64 game. I mean, obviously, you know, you're not going to expect it to move at 60 frames per second, and you're going to expect a few, you know, frame dips here or there. Again, it's the N64. You know, it's not like the fucking PlayStation 5, which is basically a fucking supercomputer. Uh. All right, puck is frozen again, and we have ourselves another face off. Still closing in on the end of the first quarter. Philly and Boston tied 0 0. There is one minute remaining in the first period. And so, yep, that puck is going to be frozen by the goalie, and we have ourselves yet another face-off.
Rapidly closing in on the end of the first. Oh, how about that? With one second left in the first, Philly scores the goal. How the fuck about that? Wow. <laughs> wow, with like literally one second left. Holy shit. Hell of a way to end the first period. All right. Well, guys, that'll do it for that one. Peace out.